One of the greatest achievements in life is owning your own home. I paid for it myself on a single wage. No debt, no credit cards. That's why I didn't have any debt. But anyway, I owned it. I owned it. That was one of the clients helped by Seniors Rights Victoria talking about her home. To protect her privacy, we'll call her Meg. Meg grew up in a working class home in Melbourne and then went on to study education at the universities of Melbourne, Monash and Deakin. And had a, a very satisfying and successful career. Meg has devoted the majority of her adult life to her children, her students and working towards independence. It was a good life. I'd put a lot of hard work into my life to be the person I was, to be independent financially. Went without, easy to go without. I drove a 20-year-old car, you know, I was so happy to have it. A few years ago, Meg decided she wanted to help a close relative. Again, to protect his privacy, we'll call him Joe. Meg loved Joe. She cared deeply for his welfare. It was equal, if not more important to me than mine. She decided to sell her home and use the cash to finance a larger property that they would all share, but live in separate residences. One for Meg and the other for Joe and his family. I had more and I was happy to share it, very happy to share it. They bought a new large property. It was over 2,000 square metres. They split the ownership according to what everyone had contributed. Two thirds went to Meg and one third went to Joe and his partner. It could have, it could have been a fairy story. It should have been a fairy story. They all moved in and began to plan renovations. It was all their stuff and I had the one room and, and that was fine. We were in the process of, of trying to sort something out where we could have a, a better arrangement. But as the planning progressed, they began to disagree about how much they were going to pay. The relationship soon degenerated. It started off that it wasn't going to be very, very much, but eventually it blew out. I was prepared to take the lesser option that would cost less. Uh, they couldn't see the point of that. They wanted to spend more. All of Meg's wealth was invested in this property. She was concerned that Joe and his partner were overspending and that they would lose the whole lot. It made her feel vulnerable. The fights became vicious. Meg faced abusive tirades. It was actually horrific. After months of emotional abuse, Meg moved out into a rental property. But this was not a long-term solution. At $400 a week, she was burning through her savings. Meg found a private lawyer. Though he was highly recommended, he was not able to deal with the complexities of her case. And I think he saw it as a business deal. They couldn't conceive of any other emotion other than a very cold, analytical way of dealing with things. He didn't understand Meg's special vulnerabilities as an older person. I was in a situation that I had retired, my will was diminished, and there was no way that I could respond to anything the other party was saying. They were much younger, and that's when it hit me. I thought, gosh, this isn't a level playing field. I realise that now, and I need someone who will help to create a level playing field. Meg didn't know where to turn. I, I wouldn't breathe a word of it to anyone. It was so embarrassing. As is the case for many older people, Meg felt too ashamed to turn to her support networks. She went through the phone book, calling various community organisations. But then a chance phone call led her to a lawyer at Seniors Rights. She was like a breath of fresh air. Like she was interested in all aspects of me, not just the legal side. And I realised then that she was creating a level playing field and giving me um, a right that up until that point had been denied. The lawyer could see that the case had to go to VCAT. You know, I didn't collapse in anyone's arms. I just thought, God, these people value me more than I value me. The parties were required to negotiate by conference, but Meg was so deeply traumatised that she couldn't attend alone. Senior's rights stood by her and assisted her through the process. The other party recognised it wasn't just, oh, another solicitor. Oh, well, yeah, we fight, then we'll get a better solicitor. No, no, here was someone you couldn't muck around with. Here is someone who was going to take this whole process to, to a very fair outcome. Finally, a settlement was reached. It was agreed that they would sell the property and Meg would get the two thirds of the value back. With seniors' rights, I completely changed. I, I look less worried, feel less worried. You can't have knowledge of every single aspect or area of learning in society. You can't. I did one and did it competently. Put me into another one? No idea. And these people took over there and I thank God, I thank God every day.